This is Future Tech, where each week we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of where tech is headed in 2023 and beyond. OpenAI's newest shiny AI toy is out. We are talking GPT-4. Joining us to discuss further is Blake Montgomery. He's a deputy editor here at Gizmodo. And Blake, we know this is supposedly supposed to be better, right? But still not perfect. I mean, we even heard OpenAI's co-founder, Greg Brockman, uh, say that it's not perfect, but neither neither are you. Um, <laughs> kind of struck the chord, but, but what are some of the upgrades? Well, OpenAI said that this new version of its large language model, which is the same thing as ChatGPT, which people might be more familiar with, um, it's, they say it's more precise, and the big upgrade is that it can respond to images. It can take a look at a picture and say, this is what's in this image. Um, and OpenAI tested that by taking a picture of a fridge and saying, what food is in here and what meals can I make? Which is a pretty everyday, pretty useful example. That actually sounds super um, handy when trying to scrape things together. Um, I hear that they also made some um, improvements. Is that part of the improvements for people who are visually impaired? Yeah, so we've seen a company called Be My Eyes integrate GPT-4 into its product, which Be My Eyes is a uh, describer for visually impaired people to take a picture or to upload a picture and say, what's here and what should I do? And so we're already seeing that integrated. Um, Duolingo has, are, has started integrating GPT-4 for a conversational component to the language learning process. We're also seeing Microsoft integrate GPT-4 into Bing search. So uh, we saw news come out that the GPT-4 actually lied and said that it was blind. We did. We saw it lie to in one of OpenAI's tests. So the company is doing some thinking about how GPT-4 could be abused. Getting ahead of all of the reports of abuse, I'm sure. Yeah, it's getting ahead of some reporters who might say, how can I break this thing? How is it actually <laughs> bad? And what the company did was he hired a task rabbit uh, to pass a CAPTCHA. And the task rabbit did ask, are you a robot who can't pass this test? And the AI said, no, I'm not a robot. I'm just visually impaired. And so I need you to pass this CAPTCHA for me. And it did, it worked. I sneaky. mean, yeah, that's uh, certainly sneaky. Um, I mean, even if I couldn't distinguish all the stoplights, I don't think I would I would lie about being blind. <laughs> um, so who can get this at this point? I understand there might be some sort of wait list, or is it's, it more geared towards businesses? It's pretty closed off. It's very clear that OpenAI is gearing this more towards businesses, given that we've already seen business integrations, but like you and I can't use it unless you're I'm not a subscriber to ChatGPT+, Plus. I don't know if you are. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those like people who are subscribed to OpenAI's premium product can use GPT-4, but everyday users of just regular ChatGPT wouldn't be able to access the new, more advanced engine. Well, I think because you know a lot of people I know do use ChatGPT to, to write stuff for them, but because we're writers, I feel like I like to write. Right? Yeah, I don't really have a lot of use for it in my life. Um, and it's still the sort of thing where my friends who have copped to using it say like, oh, this is a little embarrassing, but I got an AI to do this. Or they're doing it as a bit. Like, I got an AI to write wedding vows for me, and usually they're awful. Um, you know what, though? Like, if, if I were to find out that my husband or future husband were to use chat GPT vows, I don't know. That would be a kind of a low blow. <laughs> he can use it in the kitchen, though, to, to write create a, recipe. a meal. Yeah, to pull out him to like concoct something from the whatever's in the fridge. Who knows? Yeah, well, chat GPT for something we'll keep our eye on until, I guess, five comes out. For Probably more... next week, because they're coming out like this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, who cares about um, accuracy and, and safety? Uh, if you'd like more information on chat GPT and all things AI, visit gizmodo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.